let's start with the things you need to know before attending, before your first year at Al Ahly University. Unfortunately, guys, there is little, little information about Al Ahly University. And when you first attended, at least for me, no one told me what should I bring, what should I not bring, and everything like that. So I'm here for you guys. And there's no precise order for now. I'm just going here and there. And the first one that came to my mind was that the food absolutely sucks. <laughs> That's all in my opinion. There's not a lot of dietary options. I would say I'm lactose intolerant. I, I became lactose intolerant since I started. And I think I have also some gluten intolerance. But every time I eat in any of those restaurants, I have like my stomach is blown up and I have a stomach ache in the morning after it's really horrible. So for me, the food sucks, unfortunately, and there's only two main things. But one is a big cafeteria that offers different options, and yeah, you might find some healthy stuff like salads and stuff, but they don't change the menu quite often at all. It's like the same thing. So if you go every day eating that same thing, it becomes really repetitive and really annoying, and it's the same for the others. We might have some good pizzas and pasta sometime in the pizzeria, oh, uh, but you know... Yeah, the food still sucks for me, at least. And I guess that's something we have to improve, especially as, you know, we're Moroccans, we have pretty hard food standards. If there's someone from AUI that can do something about it, please do, because I am tired of eating the same pasta every day that only goes with what I can eat. Anyways, there are buildings better than others. And this is more about the housing part, is that especially with the new buildings coming up this year, I mean, I've seen some people already getting into... The, the new buildings and they're absolutely gorgeous like they have nothing to do with the old ones and then there's a kind of new building but they look more like a baby i don't know colorful it's not really myself i had this again watch any of my videos to see how it looked like i think the one when i was cleaning this good one but uh now it's more modern you have like some black white and black and it's just perfect i am taking one next year hopefully and so I would recommend you to get uh, into a, a new building. Even though it might cost a little bit more expensive, even though, yeah, it's way better than, like, any of those previous buildings that we have, in my opinion. Again, everything is about my opinion, so take it or leave it. Most of you might already know, but I want to highlight this again, is the American system and how it's so different, and specifically the liberal arts system. And so... People don't know that when you enter into the school, you can switch to any majors you want. So for example, you're doing engineering, but you don't like engineering anymore, so you go to business. Or you go to computer science, or you go do another form of engineering. Or you can go do, I don't know, communication studies. So you can switch anytime at any point. I mean, you might stay longer because you have to redo the requirements, but you can switch. And it's not something that is not normal or normal in our marketing education system. So yeah, that's something you kind of need to know that you can switch and that you can choose your courses and the class, like the time class that you want to take and what professor do you want in that class. So basically, maybe it's not going to happen the first semester because you're just going to get familiar with this system. But from your second semester, there is this thing when they open all the courses and it's like so stressful, actually. But you get to choose the course that you want to take. At what time? I mean, they give you different uh, availabilities, different professors, and you choose. And so basically, you can make your own timetable, your own academic table, basically. Some people prefer to have things in the morning, and some people prefer to have things in the afternoon. I think I can do a video about that more specifically, when I talk only about the American system and the liberal arts system in Ahlein, because it's so more complex than just that. It's so much more flexible. You have approximately... 15 hours of classes, which is nothing compared to what we used to do. We used to have like 40 hours, I mean, eight hours per day. Now you have, I'll say three to four hours per day, like it's half of it. And so you have way much more free time. And I'll go into the next other thing that you kind of need to know is use the time and use the opportunities available that we have here. And it's something, unfortunately, that I don't see a lot of people doing because it's just them. But some people don't even know about some of, of the opportunities that they are in at Hawaii University. And it's really sad. Some of those opportunities might be clubs, might be sports clubs. There might be some events with professors, some research opportunities. But one big one, and you need to know about this, 
And that was my biggest, best thing for me. This is the Employability and Entrepreneurship Office. I mean, it's an office that works on entrepreneurship and employability. And they're just so good because they support you in whatever path you want to go. Either you want to find a job, you can find so many internships, job opportunities next thanks to them. There is so much things. And at the same time, they can also support you and help you kind of build your own business. And that was the part for me. I learned so much thanks to them. I'm forever grateful to that. And so these are things that you should be knowing because I took a whole semester to figure out that this existed. And I hope that like knowing about that, you know, there's an office that can support you in any goal that you're looking for. I will say professionally. Next is, I might even have to say that, but there's nothing to do in France. Yes, at home is in Iran, and there's way more things to do with the campus than outside the campus. I would say there are some cool places there that I didn't know about until the end of the semester as well. Maybe if you think you want to live in a big city or you think that you love nature, maybe this is for you. But if you want to be a big city with everything going on and you don't like what's boring, maybe you can choose another university because... Maybe this is not for you, but even though there's not much things to do outside of AI, you got a lot of things inside of AI and that's really cool. Yeah. I wanted to talk about exchange programs to get, okay. Something I've noticed is that people come to AI because they couldn't go to the US. They couldn't go abroad. This is something I've noticed a lot is that people, they can't go abroad and then so they come here with the chance of doing an exchange program and going abroad there for like a semester or a year. And like a lot of people thought this and I was like, oh, that's cool. I want to do this as well. And I was wanting to do it like from the beginning, you know, I could maybe the first semester now, but the next semester is yes. But then I've noticed that to do those exchange programs, you need a certain a GPA and you need a certain amount of credits. Yes, you can do an exchange program, but it's still super long in a lot of time and hard. But I have some tips and tricks to do those or wrote about a bit earlier. And if that works, I'll make a video about it. A really, really funny thing is that the weather is a mess. I didn't know about that at all. And bro, <laughs> it's so complicated. The morning is super cold and then you get into the like lunchtime and it's super hot. But then it gets colder at night. The first weeks when I arrived, I had to change it like three times a day because I didn't know what to do about this change of weather. I didn't want to get sick. And a lot of my friends did get sick, unfortunately. There's an important thing that I haven't noticed in any of the website first when I, before even I attended, and it was the summer session. And people were, a lot of people love the summer session. What is it? And basically you have your first semester and you have your second semester. And in between those, in the academic year, during the summer break, they offer you a summer session to do other courses, to get it in advance. And people would like to try their best to finish in like three, three and a half years to save some money or something like that. But you have to pay for that, of course. But a lot of people love this and it's a good way to use your summer. And if you want to have a summer session, you have to pay more. Oh, a big thing that I didn't know about like, you know, when you go to your boo and you're so happy, you kind of need some things that you might, you didn't know you kind of need. So just make a brief list of things that I personally forgot or didn't plan, or at least like my parents reminded me, like parents, so good for that. But like one first thing, and I don't know, is that you could bring a refrigerator with you and that's going to be life changing because the food sucks and you can have a common kitchen or if you get a studio, you have your own kitchen, you can cook yourself your own meals or you can learn how to cook if, if you don't know yet. A refrigerator is a must and I didn't have one for my whole first semester. And a cool trick for you, what I did personally is that I didn't take a refrigerator, but I took a freezer. I got to take basically a freezer because all of my roommates just have a refrigerator. And so I also had this fun with my mom when she cooks me and do, does all the cooking for me and just brings me the food and I get to just unfreeze the food and eat it. Another big thing is that communication is a mess. And I say that within AR, within the community, because any event happening, they only tell you the day some hours before or a day before and that's 
I don't know, but it's like a culture thing. And I hated it. I planned a lot of things in advance. I planned sometimes even a week in advance my plan. And when you come and tell me this is the reason this amazing event happening tomorrow, I'm like, I would love to come, but there's this first part of the communication. And the second part, I don't know what to do with my hands, but, but the second part is that you can't have what you want unless you force it and you come every day to their office so they can do the things. They're not organized and they're really bad at communicating stuff. So that's something we have to improve up, unfortunately. Unfortunately. You may have noticed in the pictures that AI is really green. There's a lot of greenery, but we got to maintain this greenery. And so almost every single day, especially when it's hot, there is those automatic water stuff on the floor. But the thing is, half of their job is to water the path that we walk into. But basically, you just become a plant. <laughs> You get water in you every day and you try to like get away from it every single day. And sometimes it's quite annoying. A good thing, and you need to do this before attending an AI, is that there are people that are here to support you. And I'm talking in an academic way. There is tutoring and it's also job opportunity. So you can be a tutor and get paid for it. What I mean is that if you don't understand anything from the professor, Either go to their office hours, which are time when the professor is available just for any questions in their own office. So they have the office and you go to them at specific times, you can talk to them about life, or you can ask them what you didn't understand. And that's a really cool thing. And really little people, like really a few people do that. And that might be really helpful to either great, like increase your grade or like just make you understand some cool things. So that's great. And also you can find some cool opportunities by talking to them, especially if they're currently doing research, you can end up doing research with them and publishing your first paper. So there's like things you should know. And another cool thing, if you don't understand anything and you're too scared to talk to your professor, there's what we call tutoring. And so basically you go and you just book a tutor for the subject you're struggling. You tell them, oh, this is the chapter we're doing right now. And they're going to be tutoring this for you. And that's just, yeah. and it's free. It's they just giving you things. Another big thing you need to know is when you first arrive, especially if first year, there is the orientation week. It is the most important week if you want to make friends, if you don't know anyone from AY at all in the beginning, because honestly, when I came there, like I made most of my friends from there and I still have some really good friends from there. And you know what? Then you just expand your little circle. A lot of people don't do the orientation week. But for me, it was really great, great experience. Also, a thing you might need to know is that people smoke a lot inside the campus. And there is some regulations in terms of you can smoke inside the building, you can't smoke next to a building. Now I'll go to the next thing that you might need to know. And it's just more of an advice. It's just like trying to get a good circle or a friendship circle. And that is not like pressuring at all in terms of uh, trying new things and smoking and alcohol and just other stuff that you might not like to do if you don't want to do them. So if you want to do them, feel free. I'm super open to any of that. Like you can do whatever you want, but please don't pressure any others to do. They don't, don't want to do it. And if you feel pressured to do anything, just don't do it. Say no and go away. <laughs> Run like more seriously. There's a lot of amazing people in UI and a little opening to the real world your parents are giving you this opportunity to live in without them and go to a bad thing depending on your relationship with your family you get a lot of independence you can do a lot of things now maybe that you couldn't do before it's all on in you to get a good circle of friends and get yourself together and be independent and kind of becoming an adult and try to become in the real world and that's something you kind of need to realize before I send you to any college you're on your own somehow and you have to know how to make the most out of it and to 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 yeah live life kind of thing if you want to go to the gym you can if you want to try new sports or try a new hobby there's any club where you can create your own club you can 
get yourself academically amazingly and you can switch majors if you don't like what you're learning you can learn about other topics without even being in your major you can have two majors you can have a minor and a major you get all this power to finally make choices so choose wisely and have fun it's getting dark here but guys so this is the end of the video i really liked it i hope you learned something from it i hope you feel like you want to come more here if you're not i'm sorry <laughs> but i want to share with you guys this and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.